YouTube, it's your boy Fishing Ken. Out here again, man. Just a guy in his rod. A pair of sunglasses and a backpack with a few baits on it. One bottle of water and about an hour and a half to try to figure something out. Well, decided to come to one of these places that I had been scouting for a little while. I got kind of caught up with the home lake, Lake Arlington, and the way it had been fishing. Um, and man, it, it took me away, man. The fishing has been good there. So that's where I was going, taking my dad. So he didn't have to do a lot of walking, um, but it's windy. I don't have a lot of time. And this is a good day to see if I can snatch a few of these spawning crappie, y'all. So nothing in particular going on. We're gonna use some plastics. I got another red ACC. Uh, old reel with some old line on it. Just some stuff that I can throw in the truck. Nothing that's in the boat. All my good stuff is in the boat. So we got a little bit of this stuff going. Got some braided line, tip contest. Walk out here real quick. In these high winds, it's the best time to uh, get out here, man, on the bank. I keep telling y'all, now's the time. If you bank fish, now is the time to get on these spawning crappie. Now is the time to really beat up the banks. You got extra time, you enjoy fishing, you have a passion for this thing, get out here now. Don't wait for nobody. Get out here and do your thing, man. So, I don't have a clue what is going on out here. All I know is the water temp should be decent. We have had a pretty heavy rain, just fell on us. Um, so it's gonna be muddy. I'm gonna use some muddy water baits. Um, I'm gonna check with like some uh, black and chartreuse, maybe some orange and chartreuse, red and chartreuse. I even have some white and chartreuse. So <clears throat> if you haven't figured it out, the common theme is chartreuse. So dark colors with chartreuse and light color with chartreuse. We're gonna try both. But uh, I'm gonna finish this walk. You know, I'm a big boy. <sighs> go finish this walk and we'll get down here. See if we can get on these donkeys. Let's go, baby. Your boy Fishing King, Hook City TV. I'm out here. Went ahead, we're gonna start out with black and chartreuse. And then we're gonna do the sausage head, eighth ounce. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a real quick loop knot. I've did this many times for you guys, so we should all be on the same page. We're gonna just stick that on there. There's no special way to do that. Find something to cut my tag in with, and we are on the roll. What I got here. Cut that tag in off, put it in my pocket, don't litter guys, and we are ready to go. See if we can find us a crappie and all this stuff. I wish I had a 12 footer right now, but we're gonna make do. I believe somewhere in and out, like I told y'all, in and out. I'm going to find you. That's another reason why I'm using that, uh, that heavier jig head guy so that I can punch through these little mats with no problem. See that? It goes right in. It goes right in. Sticking and moving. 
gonna throw the backpack on, walk down a little ways, and we're gonna find somewhere to stop and hit it again. There he is. God, come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There he is. Right there, guys. That's what we have been working for. Black crappie. Oh, and I never find him during the spawn. God, I ain't got no pliers and this hook. Looks like it's bent. How? I don't know. Okay. Ooh-wee. Skinny is all outdoors, but that is a crappie, guys. Great hit. Came out of that little junk right there. And I am happy to say the skunk is off me within 10 minutes. Let's go, baby. Crappie number one in the books. Like I said, guys, this time of year, there's no reason for these crappie to not be in these places. Look at this place, man. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on this fish. Get back off in here and see if we can get any more. I just need a few to make it make it feel good, guys. But I got my thump for the day. Gonna see if we can get a few more of these because this is a creek that I scouted. Never been here before. Decided to come check it out. There's nobody here, nobody around me. People are probably thinking that it's it's you know with all the rain and everything, these fish aren't gonna want to do anything. Boom, here's proof. Black and chartreuse with an orange head. Let's go. Let's get a release on it. Boom. Beautiful. All right, before we move on, we're going to check and make sure that fish didn't have a partner in there. This is a good looking little mat with a tree in it. So we'll get off in here again. It's kind of difficult, man, with this with this steep bank, but that's all right. Let's see if he had a friend in there with him, he or she or whatever it was. Skinny fish. Oh, there's another one. Ah, big bass, big bass. God, dog. Shucks, I had it wrapped around my knife on my hip. So I looked down and when I <laughs> when I did, he popped it. Fixed my jig back. I like in the black and chartreuse, no need to change. That was a big bass, guys. I hope I got a good one. Hope I got a good view of that for y'all. I'll, uh, let's replay that. Let's replay that and look at that action. God, dog. Golly. Lost that big old bass. That's all right. We're gonna keep working, guys. This is a fruitful little tree. Imagine if I was in a boat. And I could really pick this thing apart from the from the outside in. But we're gonna ease these jigs and all these little pockets we can from this angle right here. What I will note, guys, which is what you want to do, I will note that I was only about three to four foot away from the bank. I mean right off the bank. Three to four foot away from the bank. That fish was there, so I'm gonna keep that in my mental notes. If we hit another one, and that next one is up close to the bank like that too, 
and I'm gonna probably start targeting up close on the bank. Let's go, do a little bit of moving. All right, don't wanna give it back to me. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. All finesse, guys. All finesse. Don't get frustrated when you get hung up. You're going to get hung up in this. It's a guarantee. Don't get frustrated. Jiggle your rod tip. And take your time with it. It might not come out within the first three or four seconds. Sometimes you got to play it a little bit. Come on, I need to be getting my hand slapped here soon. That first fish got me, got me amped up. All right, we're gonna navigate ourselves back up out of this because I can't reach all that out there, which is making my heartache that I can't. Actually, I might be able to go through here. I'm not gonna record it because I don't want y'all to see me fall. But if I make it over, I make it over. Let's go. I'm really not gonna spend a whole lot of time right here because there's not a lot to see. But what I'm gonna do is just let my jig just swim around. We're on a high bank and we got some decent depth. So I'm just gonna let it walk around out in there for a second. If we get our hand popped, we get our hand popped. Like I say, just real quick. This water does not look bad for the amount of rain that we got. Audington Lake looks a mess. This lake that I'm at right now looks pretty good. Okay, another crappie. And that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. That is a spawning male. That's exactly what I was talking about. Don't just walk past the stuff that doesn't look that great. That doesn't mean the crappie isn't there. Because you don't know what's on the bottom of the lake. There could be logs on the bottom, but this is clearly a spawning white male. Yes, he's white. This is not a black crappie, but look at the anal fin. Real dark. He's kind of showing some colors. I guarantee you if I was to put him on a uh, on a stringer, he would color up. He would color up even darker. But that's, that's fish number two, guys. Uh, it's been about another 15 minutes or so. Fish number two. You saw how it happened. All it is, and we fished all that junk. Didn't have a lot in it. I probably could have fished some of this, but it wasn't a whole lot of places to stand. I got up here on high ground, and I just kind of worked this area right here, and I can see a little log, and with your, uh, with your glasses, if you get you some of these, it doesn't matter what kind they are, just as long as they're, um, uh, heck, I can't think of the word right now. Polarized, as long as you got some polarized glasses, you can kind of see the little stuff that's out away from the messy stuff. Yes, fish are here, all I did was walk that jig around here. Y'all saw it live, boom, fish on. There it is, let's go. Well guys, I am officially in trouble. I stayed past time for sure. Sun is starting to go down a little bit, but I am living off of those two thumps that I got. It's not really panning out the way I wanted it to. Uh, ah. It's all a part of fishing something new, man. I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, oh, I know where he is. I catch fish there all the time. He should have been here, should have been there. It's a part of scouting, man, putting in time. Um, the lake is windy. So instead of sulking and crying about it, I decided to come back out to the place I've been scouting and see if I could come up on something. I do have two little spots in my head where they were productive. I didn't want to just sit on those spots because I wanted to move around. As y'all can see, man, there's a lot of a lot, lot of niceness, a lot of not niceness over here. Um, a lot of brush and cattails and, oh man, that's just, 
That's just pretty. That's just pretty. It's a lot of this going on, man. I let Pat use the 10 footer. I don't know if you can see him right there. Let him poke around. He's been seeing those cattails trembling. So we were trying to see if we can figure out what was in there. Nice man. Gotta keep moving though. Gotta keep moving. Oh, my Hold this. God, I'm so sick right now. We just had the best scene in the whole wild world to get a hold to this right here. He was in that right there. I literally had to get on my knees. Pat had to hold the pole. See that dirt? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little dirt don't hurt. I, look, my backpack half off my shoulder. I'm thirsty now. We worked for this fish, and I worked to make a good clip. But as always, Fishing Ken does it again. Screwed up and didn't press play or record. Here's your fish. Let's stick to it, man. Here we go. Another bass, guys. <clears throat> Just walking her around. Got a hold to another one. Golly. Looking for a crappie. Caught another bass. Toothy joker, man. Got some good little bristles in his mouth. Shoot, I'm looking for crappie. This is what I'm catching now. That's the second one in the last 20 minutes. Keep working. These fish are supposed to be acting up right now. Just walking through these woods, walking through these bushes with my jig. Seeing if I can go heads up with a crappie. Tick, tick. Boom, is all I'm looking for. There he is. <laughs> Yo! And that, my friends, is what I'm talking about. Just walking through the bushes, guys. Eesh, I got a pent, too. That's a cable. That's another one. Put him up there for my buddy Pat. Greaser, he want a fish sandwich. He got one. All right, All right guys, look. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I wanted to get out here. I'm definitely later than what I'm supposed to be, so I might be in trouble. It might be a while. Y'all pray for me, man. Anyway, we got out here to the creek that we've been scouting. Me and my buddy Pat, uh, aka Billy Blanks. AKA, AKA Billy Blanks. My boy didn't catch a single fish, but we finna get one of these ACC's in his hand, uh, 10, 12 foot or something, so he can start jigging because it's thick in there, guys. As y'all saw, it was thick. The few crappie that we did catch, they were really in some thick stuff. I'm so sorry I missed one of the best action clips of the night, man. A three pound bass, and that thing acted a fool in the thick stuff. So look, man. Y'all look out for the next video because it's coming soon. Your boy is going to stay out here on them. I'm going to do a couple of more of these on foot from the bank videos. And it's going to go down, man. It's your boy Fishing Ken. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. If you're going to thumbs down me, let me know why you don't like the video, man. Maybe, it can, it, it can, maybe it'll be something I can change. You know what I mean? So, in all, thank y'all for the support. God bless. Good night. It's your boy Fishing Ken. I'm out.